hello one and all and welcome to another edition of dark vault gaming i'm your host joe dark and today we will take a closer look into the new fallout 76 event eviction notice we'll take a look at the good the bad and the downright ugly we'll also take a look at the best way to complete the event okay let's take a look at the good first now in my opinion this is one of the best events in the game hands down for a number of reasons for one thing all of the enemies are super mutants which gives you a ton of xp in their own right combine that with an event that lasts almost 20 minutes then add the fact that you can loot as many as 25 legendary items yes i said that right 25 legendaries that doesn't even include receiving one of the six new three-star legendary weapons that were implemented into the game specifically for this event, like crowd control, very cool combat shotgun. How about doctor's orders, a very cool hunting rifle, and my favorite, Foundation's Vengeance, a beautiful bloodied explosive minigun with 250 damage resistance while reloading it's amazing you get one of the six new weapons just for completing the event but there's the outdid themselves with this event in my opinion okay now let's go over the event and how to complete it and get all of the goodies first warning is to make sure you get there fast as the event kicks off on arrival of the first player which leaves a limited amount of time to repair that rad scrubber if you get there too late and fail to repair it before time runs out the event will fail and you are screwed you're screwed because sometimes you can be online in the game for three to four hours before the event even triggers that's an eternity for casual players that have limited playing time. The first thing Bethesda needs to change is increase the time allotted to repair the rad scrubber. Maybe by a minute at least. Also, don't forget to pop a lunchbox on arrival to maximize your XP big time. Next, make sure you destroy the six meat bags quickly as they are scattered in random locations in the area. If you don't destroy all the meat bags, you will fail the event. The meat bags will be hanging from posts and are very easy to destroy. So move quickly and take them out. Now, when you reach the point where the rad scrubber is repaired and the meat bags are destroyed, this is when the fun begins. Take out the hordes of high level, mostly legendary super mutants and protect the rad scrubber in the process. Fighting off waves of enemies while protecting something reminds me a lot of the line in the sand, but this event is way better. Here's an idea, Bethesda. How about giving us some legendary drops in line in the sand as well? Just a thought. Okay, back to eviction notice. If the rad scrubber gets damaged in any way, repair it quickly or time will run out and the event will fail. When the rad scrubber is damaged, you will get a lot of rads and repairing it takes a little bit of time so be prepared for that before you go and attempt to repair it this event is not for the faint of heart the enemies are tough and there's a lot of them too recommendations for completion and just survive the event is specific for different bills bloody bills use caution as rads are heavy, I recommend power armor, as the Chinese stealth armor is not very protective for the brutal assaults from the enemies, mostly miniguns that will shred you in seconds if you're not careful. Kill and evade, and bring some rad away diluted, similar to collecting ore in a radiation rumble event. If you're a full health build, you'll be fine with or without power armor, and either using the rad sponge perk card, or better yet, the legendary perk card what rads if you have room and endurance put on rad resistance maxed out to add an additional 40 percent radiation resistance you will be well protected from the rads also in luck hop on the ricochet perk card maxed out to evade incoming rounds it works quite well and makes a pretty cool miss sound too now once you complete the event 
Start your cleanup by using the collect all feature to re retrieve all of your loot from the dead bodies. By the way, the glowing dead enemy is a nice feature Bethesda implemented with this last patch. It allows you to find every downed enemy you killed to retrieve all the loot you can from the event. It's a sweet addition to the game for sure. Now, here's where you'll become extremely over encumbered, or as I call it, over encumbered. From the combination of legendary items, miniguns, sledgehammers, and super sledges you pick up. Trust me, you'll be heavy. The good thing is there's a stash box and a weapons bench close by. You can even drop your tent in the area if you're a Fallout First member. Also, the foundation is pretty close by too, so if you prefer, you can sell your goodies to Sunny. It's a short walk there. Now, let's hit the bad parts. We already covered it doesn't spawn too often, which leaves some players rarely being able to play it at all. Let's spawn it more often, Bethesda. Make the event spawn a little bit more often. And the time to repair the rad scrubber should be lengthened to give players time to at least start this rare event in the first place. Upon completion of this event, the closest vendor is the Foundation, which doesn't have a legendary exchange machine to cash in all of your legendaries. And last but not least, the daily script limit should be increased to account for all the legendary items you receive from this event, Moonshine Jamboree, and Radiation Rumble. A player could possibly get 50 legendary items just from those three events alone. But Bethesda also announced that with the next patch, they will be changing the daily amount of legendary modules obtainable from the purveyor from 10 to 100, which even adds to the issue. In the most recent Inside the Vault, Bethesda announced that they will not only be able to get 100 legendary modules, as well as 500 Vault Steel from the Purveyor daily, but there will be a legendary exchange machine and a gold press machine inside Artisan's Corner in the White Springs Mall. That will all be implemented with the next patch coming sometime in September with the pit. The only news coming on Thursday, June 28th, is the seasonal event Mothman Equinox will start and run until July 12th. This event will start every hour on the hour, which may interfere with these three new events, so be aware of that. There was no mention of the legendary exchange machine being put in the foundation or of daily script increases mentioned at all in the last Inside the Vault. Now, I'm sure Bethesda is currently getting a ton of feedback from players regarding these issues, and based on the premise that the next patch won't be until September, they have plenty of time to make these adjustments. In the meantime, enjoy this event along with Moonshine Jamboree and test your metal for now. Don't forget, Mothman Equinox event hits Appalachia next week. Work on that scoreboard? Happy trails, my friends. Ad Victorium. That's all I have for you today. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Give me your thoughts, good, bad, or indifferent. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Everybody have a great day. Take care.